All right, let's talk about how to set the hands on your cuckoo clock. You can see here, these hands are totally loose, not telling time. A couple ways that can happen. When you're setting the time, turning the minute hand, it's pretty easy to bump the hour hand. That hour hand is just pressed on there, so it's not hard to get it loose. Minute hand, if you turn it backwards, or if the nut is just too loose, it might loosen up. Um, it might even twist as you go to set the minute, uh, minute hand for the time if, uh, if that nut's not tightened down enough. So let's talk about what you do if either hand is loose. Take a look here. I'm going to start by taking off the minute hand. So take this nut off, take the hand off, and this nut is flat on both sides, typically. And there's another nut behind it. This nut has a square through the middle, and it's got a, uh, a collar. I don't know if you can see that. All right, so now we've got the hour hand right here, and you can see that it just presses on. So now that you know how that's working, we need to figure out, first of all, what time the clock thinks it is. So I'm going to stop the pendulum just to make sure that it doesn't keep changing as I'm setting things. And I'm going to figure out what time the clock thinks it is. So I'm going to turn on the cuckoo. That just cuckooed a lot of times. That's not actually the time because it's been on silent. So now I'm going to twist the hand around. And I'm, I'm, when I say that, I'm twisting this nut, this minute hand nut with a square hole. I'm going to twist that around clockwise. It's kind of hard. It's not much to grab onto. That cuckooed one time. That could mean it's one o'clock or that it's on the half hour. So let's keep going a little further. That said four. So that means the clock thinks that it's four o'clock. So I'm going to set the hour hand to four o'clock. So there's four right there. And then you just press it on. Put a thumb on either side and give it a good firm press. Now don't, you got to be kind of careful these things are not super sturdy. So they're somewhat delicate. So push it on somewhat firmly enough that it won't move, but not so hard that you split it in half. Okay, so now the hour is on the right spot and it cuckooed four times, which means it thinks it's exactly four o'clock. So I'm going to put this nut with the square on it right there. It goes on first and then I'm going to take the minute hand. It's going to go on next. And I'm going to get the nut. This is the flat nut that came off first. Now this minute hand has a big hole through it and that goes around that, that nut with the square hole. Point it straight up, tighten the nut down by hand, hold the minute hand still. All right, now I've got it nice and firm by hand. That's as tight as I can get it by hand. And I'm going to finish it off with a very gentle tightening of pliers. Doesn't take much. You don't want to over tighten it because these hands are not super sturdy. All right, so now that's tight. And let's make sure that it chimes when we expect it to. There it is. And switch on five times, or strike, rather. You're good to go. Hope that helps.